one sense, consciousness and memory are one and the same thing, meaning that you, the person who has this experience, has that experience, as I was saying bef before, because you have that extraordinary repertoire of possibilities, which is how your particular brain is built. And that's memory, if you wish. Memory is the same as imagination. In fact, even in patients, you can see that you lose memory to the extent that you lose imagination, and you lose imagination to the extent that you lose memory. Mm -hmm. So my ability to experience your movies or any other movie is really defining who I am right now, even if I may never see these movies. That's imagination, but also the ones I've experienced in the past. So there is a connection there. You are, in a way, your memories. OK, but, so well, go ahead. Yeah, but there is also a way, I just want to point it out, in which there are memories that are definitely not conscious. So there are some parts of your brain that remember things, how to breathe, and they mm -hmm. change that, et cetera, of which you have not the slightest idea. Well, okay. also, don't you, aren't you capable of uh, experiencing some kind of trauma uh, that stays in your head but doesn't always rise to consciousness? Yes, yes. Once again, you have memories, for instance, in the cerebellum, which is incredibly plastic, meaning it lays down lots of memories all the time that don't affect your consciousness at all. There are memories elsewhere near your cortex which actually may or may not gain access. But so, even your consciousness is all a just a big, giant piece of memory. What are the memories in your cerebellum? I mean, what kind of memories are stored there? They have to do with things like, you know, how fast do I need to contract the muscle in order to reach in the proper way? So is playing an instrument would be yes. a cerebellum process? Playing an instrument, many aspects of that would be there. So when mm -hmm. you learn a scale very well, yeah. at first, as you know, you do it consciously, yeah. which means you're slow, and you're using mistakes, way more of your and brain. And you're using a huge yeah. piece, of, and you have the feeling. Yeah. In fact, you know, a pianist, yeah. usually, when they are learning something, they, you know, so don't you, I don't know if you ever played, but you sort of learn with your entire body at first. Uh -huh. When you're learning, you sort of use everything. And then when you get good, it's so, so sort riding of goes a by itself. Riding a bicycle would be Yes, it would be there. definitely like that. Yeah. And, and that's one of the great things, you know, how is it that when, when you're conscious, you're using everything, yeah. then you make into a subroutine like a computer, it's a little thing that goes down swiftly, fast, in an effortless manner, but it has few choices to make. Once you set the context, it sort of knows what to do.